have made our way into the kitchen and we are about to experience some serious deliciousness, you all. Showing us how to make his light, pillowy, soft gnocchi with a savory chestnut mushroom sauce. Whoo, that makes me hungry. Please welcome <laughs> Chef Ron Sanoski to our house. Thanks, Evan. Thanks, Thanks for being here. We're so Thank excited to have you. Thank you so much. Have you. Thank you. As you can see, Cameron, Pagey, and Ken are so, so excited. Every, the, the whole team is here. The whole team yes. is here. This is awesome. It looks phenomenal. This is awesome. Now, this really is a very traditional Italian dish, right? It is. It is. Porcini's and chestnuts uh, grow together at this time of year. So, Italian, most of Italian cuisine uses indigenous you know, ingredients that are grown together. So it's all, you know, they, oh. they, they try to keep it simple. So making gnocchi sometimes can be intimidating for people at it's home. It's a very daunting uh, process. But it really is very simple to do. You just have to have a few ingredients and you gotta get your hands a little dirty. <laughs> it, yes, it does take a little practice, a little okay. practice. I remember when the first, the first, the very first thing that I made for my parents when I knew that I wanted to be a chef was in gnocchi and they were as tough as could be. And my dad oh. was like, what is this? <laughs> They're like sinkers. So, uh, you know, it does take a little practice to have the touch, but, you know, um, once you get it down, they're super easy. And you're going to show us how to get it down yes. today. And it starts with some riced potatoes, right? Yes, we have boiled potatoes with the skins off. Okay. And we have a ricer, so we're going to take that and we're going to stick that right in there. Any specific potato? Uh, Idaho potatoes are the best. Right. Uh, they have the thickest skin, so ideally you want a potato that holds in all the moisture. I'll move that you for take you. Take that. So we have our riced potato there. We have our rice potato. We have our all-purpose flour, which we're going to spread out right here on the cutting board. And this is where it gets really pretty and fun. and messy. Yeah, this is where the action starts. And it's very important that once you start this process that you keep with it the entire time. So you can't be watching TV or... So don't walk away. Walk away. Yeah, you can't walk away. Okay. An egg yolk? Egg yolk. Always one egg yolk, no matter how many potatoes. Oh, okay. really? Yep. And why can't you walk away? Like, that was a little bit of a tease. Because it all hardens up, or what happened? Um, just because the temperature of the gnocchi is important um, with the mixture of the flour. And as you can see, what we're doing here is we're incorporating the flour into the potato. We're not really mixing it. I know that sounds uh, a little strange, but we don't want to mix the flour into the potato. We just want to incorporate it so that the dough becomes one big solid Form. And this was literally just potato, flour, flour, salt, and an egg yolk. Yes. That's it. Wow. You said the temperature was important. Was, was the potato yeah, so warm? When, or? Yeah, the potato, after you rice it, after you take it out of the water, you need to take the skins off. You can't let them sit in the skins. Um, and you need to rice them when they're warm. Okay. And when you let them rest for a minute after you rice all the potatoes, it's important to get the right temperature. And not all the flour is going to incorporate into the dough, as you can see. A lot is uh, dependent on the moisture in the air, the moisture in the flour. So if you don't use all the flour, it's okay. Just push it off to the side. And, of course, this recipe will be available in our Home and Family Fall Harvest Cookbook, which is at hallmarkchannel.com. So if you're not getting all the steps right now, don't worry. It's all there in that beautiful book for you. So I know it's important to let the dough rest for a second. You don't want the gluten to be overmixed, so you got to let the gluten rest, otherwise you're going to get very rubbery and yucky. Okay, and there we have our beautiful little rested dough so that's still beautiful. warm. Oh my gosh, I love it. And we're going to chop <laughs> that up and roll it out a little bit, aren't we? Yes. So we have rice flour here, which okay. uh, is a, a unique ingredient that most people don't know, but when you use rice flour for pasta, it's fantastic because it keeps the moisture out. The rice and flour specifically. Yes, it okay. has a high level of uh, the ability to keep moisture out. So you might know when, like, if you drop your phone in water. Oh, right. right. Put it in rice. rice. Mm. Yep. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's amazing. That just dawned on me. Magic. So that, that helps with the, uh, with the pasta. Okay. So we're going to roll that out into a nice log. And we're going to cut these into. you don't need a, a fancy thing like that. You well, can just use a... you, can use a, you can use a knife, but, okay. you know. <laughs> If you have it, use it, right? We want to cut these into knuckle sizes, which is what reference and Yaki references. So little Yaki knuckle sizes. Little, little knuckles. Oh, how oh, funny. Yeah. And so they look like this or like this, and then we drop them in our boiling water. It's yep. important that the water's boiling ahead of time, correct? And it's also important that it's salted. Okay. Not overly salted, but it should taste a little bit like the sea. Okay. So we're going to dump these in the, in the boiling water. And is that because if you try to salt after, it won't absorb into the. Exactly. Okay. Interesting. And now how long will this take to actually cook? So these take about two minutes. 
they'll rise to That's the top. Quick. So you'll know exactly when they're done. It's so much fun making gnocchi. This is actually one I've done, but it's so fun to let it rise. It is. It's so you're like waiting the whole time when when they rise. You're like I'm success. That is the that is the, <laughs> uh, the the sign of success when they rise to the top. You know that they've uh, been perfectly mixed. They're no, not well, like super heavy. Yeah. <laughs> While we let them rise, we're going to talk about your amazing, beautiful sauce over here that you've already made. Yeah, we have uh, uh, puree of chestnuts and porcini's with a little heavy cream, sage, salt, and pepper. It is so that's delicious. It. It, is so good. it is so good. Now that's just it. It's just cream. Porcini mushrooms, chestnuts, but it doesn't look like there's all that much cream in there. No, there's not. The, the puree of chestnuts sort of adds a creaminess to the dish. And what a great recipe for the holidays. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very, very cozy. Very cozy. Very cozy. Oh, holiday. Now, yes, while right? we're letting those cook a little bit, I want to ask about your new restaurants called Chef Ronsky's in Boston. Yes. Where you're pretty busy because you do all the cooking yourself. I am a one-man show. That's very impressive. Yes. Really? One-man show. I, uh, I, I, everything that anyone eats in the restaurant, I make. Uh, I often am serving the food as well. I have 15 seats, so it's you know, wow. it's the opposite wow. end of uh, opposite end of the spectrum where uh, you know. Is it weird to have Debbie in the kitchen with you right now? Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to sit? <laughs> well, you might want to sit. You know, once you taste these gnocchi, you're gonna definitely. I can't wait. And also, I know we hadn't put the starch water in the sauce yet, but you say it's very important yep. to do that. So I'm gonna do that right after I I pulled all those gnocchi oh. out. Take a little of the pasta water, which is a very key component to this recipe. And why is that? Um, it helps marry the sauce to the pasta. Oh, really? As opposed to it sitting on top. So, you know, Italians, they don't pour their sauce over the pasta like we Americans do. They like to make sure that both sauce and pasta are married together. Oh, my God. And is that the case with all pasta sauces? Yes. A little bit of pasta water will Always. Marry yep. Oh, Always. Interesting. I'm so excited yeah, for this, Ron. You ready for this? I'm ready for that. <laughs> I've been ready. <laughs> it's okay, amazing. Part of it's yes. really yeah, good. Yeah, we yeah, we have none left over here. Sure, yeah, exactly. And you put a little bit of Parmesan. I garnish it with a little Parmesan well. cheese, yep. Yeah. Oh, mm. I got a little sauce over there. My mouth is watering. <laughs> It's so lovely. Should I do it? Yep. A little it? bit of Parmesan. Have a little taste. Chef, thank you so much for this. You're Dan, welcome. You thank are you. are going to Woo! love this. Full recipe, everybody, as always, hallmarkchannel.com. Check it out. And wow. connect with Ron that is awesome. on, on his website. <laughs> 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 At chefronski.com. Well, Even Ron likes the website. <laughs> <laughs>